I'm Tom Schaefer, Felix Mendez, Arsenio Alfonso, David Crawford. The overall project was um, we basically used uh, kinematic analysis to um, analyze the uh, stability of you know, the of the overall biped. Um, we were okay. We also tried to uh, basically model the uh, biped motion. Were unsuccessful. Um, the main focus of the uh, kinematic analysis was uh, center of mass and angular uh, positioning. Um, there were also different uh, software packages analyzed. The motivation behind the project was um, a basic, un uh, basic understanding of um, biped motion and uh, stability. There was, you know, the application of uh, static analysis used, um, employing again uh, center mass and uh, force balance. This entire project was in, uh, intended to assist uh, future work, uh, mainly in the development of a dynamic analysis and. Uh, control strategies. And now a background on biped motion. In robot design, when you build a robot that has a human shape such as limbs and arms, you have a humanoid. And our focus was on the bottom part of the humanoid, which is the biped. And like humans, it has two legs in order to achieve local, locomotion, which is key. All right. In, all right. Com recently, with the use of computers, have advanced the field of robot robotics in its, in its construction and modeling. For example, the one here was built, was a robot built in in the late 80s and its primary achievement was that it was, was able to move forward and back. It wasn't able to say turn or, e or even jump and focus is mostly on dynamic and static analysis. In dynamic analysis it uses advanced system, system dynamic techniques. For example this one will in order for it to walk or do anything it has to it's not um it has to use computers on board that has to calculate the position of every component basically on on the robot in order for it to to move it's and as such is more involved than the next one static analysis in static analysis you use basically the geo geometrical and stack relationships of, of the robot as well. But you could also, well, use them for, well, use, use it piecewise. So you could focus on each piece at a time or to achieve, or to, in order to achieve movement. Um, the caveat of this is that you have to ensure in your calculations that stability stability is um, assured while you move from what as you're moving basically. Okay, okay so um, I want to explain to you guys the kinematic analysis that we did for, for, this, uh, for this position analysis. As you can see, we use the basic concept of robotics. Uh, very simple center of mass analysis. We're going to see the position analysis using simple uh, cosine, sine relations, and synchronization analysis based on uh, the logics of uh, servo motion. Go ahead. Here's the center of mass analysis. We use the equation that you're familiar with. The, the distance to the center of mass equals the summation of all the individual masses times the, the distance divided by the summation of all the masses. Um, here is the, um, the, the, the gate. When, when the biped is walking, it goes a semi-circular uh, trajectory to reach the next step. You can see that we, uh, we were able to come out with this, uh, this here, this, this, um, this formula gives us the position of each limb in terms of the trajectory desired. Obviously, we had to input some of these, um, some of these positions to obtain uh, the rest of the, of, the, of the positions. Go ahead to the next one. 
Synchronization is very important. As you can see, from, from the basic formula of uh, position analysis, we can get the position of, of the limbs, but we do not know exactly how we need to move the servos. So we need to synchronize the displacement of the servos to, come to, to position the limbs. Uh, so, as you can see that in this table here shows how we, we were able to synchronize that um, in our design process. Go ahead to the next one. Here are the results. Uh, the center of mass is, uh, as you can see, here your, your uh, purple shows the X position of your center of mass starting from, from the balance, the, the starting position. You can see that as you move forward, it's, uh, the Y is going to drop a little bit and the X axis is obviously going to increase relative to the, to the grounded foot. Go ahead. And this is the, the motion of each, uh, the position of each individual limb, uh, you know, the, the, the thetas uh, involved in, in, in each gate of the, of the biped. Go ahead. So go ahead. Over basically allows you to use uh, to manipulate up to 32 servos uh, as long as you're using the SSC32 uh, platform. Then you, uh, you're able to generate uh, the basic uh, stand codes, whatever you do in the, using the visual sequence sequencer, you're able to uh, generate them into. It's a control panel used for the. I have one. Uh, that you can create uh, your control panel so you can move it uh, your robot. and uh, your slice this is the uh, main window basically in here uh, you see how many robots you are able to control this is the window basically where you will be able to, uh, to transform whatever you do in visual uh, sequencer into a uh, 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 basic stand next slice and this is the window that where you'll be able to create your uh, control panel to uh, do whatever you do with your uh, servo, with your servos. You have there 30 or uh, 32 servos. Next slide. And we're gonna be uh, uh, we developed three activities the, for the biped. It's gonna be walking and salute. Uh, this one contains uh, 15 steps. There will be another action, another activity. Uh, this one is claiming upstairs. This one will have uh, 70, uh, 11 uh, steps. All of them are different. And finally, uh, we'll perform a dancing. This one originally had uh, 19 steps. I was able to work a little more in the last night. I was able to make it uh, four, uh, 43 steps, so it danced better. And now you will see the sequence of uh, here. It's the sequence of pictures of each action. This is the walking and salute. And next one, this is the climbing upstairs, and then the dancing. And now we can go with the red demonstration. I'll be all for our presentation. We can go to the demonstration. Oh, the conclusion. In conclusion, we can wrap this up by saying that the motion of the of the biped can be simulated using simple kinematics. As you have seen, we have not been involved in using Lagrange methods or any kind of dynamic methods. We're basically using very simple uh, static analysis of, of, of each gate process. So that's, that's one of the things that we have learned from this project. We concluded that more in-lab experiments are required for us to understand the, the basic relationship between the center of mass and the, the stability of, of this biped robot. So I think for future work, we recommend having more time in, doing in-lab experiments to, to see the relation between these two variables. And as we have seen, we're going to show next that the uh, commercial softwares can be used to, to actually create very simple, very simple biped motion. Um, the, I guess we, we should say that the only bad thing about using commercial softwares is that it's not very accurate in nature. So that should be taken into account.